Good evening and welcome to our 155th commencement ceremony. I am Dr. Rita Tolliver Roberts, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, and will serve as presiding officer. I am pleased to formally recognize the class of 2020. The Pierce College graduating class is 299 members strong, with 27 graduates in our master's programs and 272 graduates in our undergraduate programs on this historic evening. I would like to also recognize the family and friends of our graduating class. Thank you for supporting our graduates all the way to the finish line. The reputation of an institution is built on the quality of its academic programs, services, and graduates. The overseers of that quality are the expert faculty, staff, and administration of the college. I extend gratitude to the Pierce College community for all they do to support our students. I am also pleased to report that many members of this evening's graduating class received significant support from their employers. The list of organizations is too long to mention individually. However, please refer to your screen. Let's also recognize the women and men who serve in our military. Thank you for your service. An institution also depends on its board of trustees for guidance and support. Trustees, titles, and affiliations are listed in the commencement program. Trustees, thank you for your leadership and ongoing support. On behalf of the Board of Trustees at Pierce College, congratulations to the class of 2020. While you may not get the experience of walking across the stage today, it's still a banner day and one worth celebrating. At Pierce, we're focused on empowering you through a career-focused education, and we're excited to be celebrating that empowerment and your hard work and dedication that got you to this point. Today, the world needs you more than ever, and you are now prepared to go out and make a difference. Congratulations again. Go celebrate. You deserved it. In this time of uncertainty, we know that our Pierce community remains steadfast and strong. Growing leaders in healthcare, criminal justice, technology, and business. To our students and those who are on the front lines serving, supporting, and uplifting our communities through this pandemic, thank you for your service. I would also like to reflect on the injustices faced by our nation, acknowledging that in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Please join me in welcoming Pierce College President and CEO, Dr. Mary Ellen Caro. Class of 2020, greetings and congratulations. Never did I expect that we would be virtually coming into your homes to confer your degrees and celebrate with you. As I stand here at the college, memories of past commencements from the Kimmel Center flash in my mind as I recall the excitement of the crowd, the collective joy of candidates and loved ones, the bright lights, and the formal ambience of the theater. I regret that we are not able to celebrate that way tonight, but our collective new normal does not take away from the significance of your achievements or this special moment. Your grit and determination in the face of unprecedented challenges have brought you to this point. You are inspirational, your stories are touching, and your enthusiasm contagious. You have my deep respect and admiration. 
thank you for your willingness to celebrate in this virtual way. Pierce College embodies an institutional history, especially now, that adds fitting context to this special night. Founded by an educator to support returning Civil War veterans, transitioning during a time of great division and strife in this country, Pierce has been here for over 150 years. Throughout tragic low points, to common high points in our country's history. Pierce is here in this challenging time to continue our mission to help people transform their lives and create a better future through education. We grieve for the current state of our society. We stand in outrage against the systemic injustices and we are strengthened in our resolve to be a force in supporting the people and communities we serve. As such, we are proud to continue to have the designation of being a minority-serving institution. We celebrate all the facets of diversity. Many are represented by the class of 2020. Although most of our graduates are from Philadelphia and the surrounding region, some of you are from Florida, Iowa, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, and even Washington State. And while the average age of Pierce students is about 35 years, we have five graduates over 60 and one who is 85 years young all wonderful examples of a commitment to continuous learning. We are delighted also to have family members graduating together. Selena Fowl, Andrew Tong, Thalia Rosaria, Ashley Rosaria, Denise Edeline, and Jenna Edeline. Congratulations to all the families. Some of you are beginning your careers, some are changing your career paths, and some enhancing your current careers, and for some, completing unfinished personal business. What is most common among this class is that you all have made an investment in yourselves through education. You are all amazing. So tonight, relish your achievement Take a moment to connect with the virtual energy and experience of this event. To commemorate your achievement, we have provided each of you with an academic medallion, similar to the one that I wear as president of Pierce College. These are unique, created for the first time for you, the class of 2020. Wear it as an official part of your academic regalia and display it as a reminder of this accomplishment. When life gets challenging and uncertain, it may serve as a symbol that you have the grit to achieve your goals. It is my honor to be the president of this great institution and to confer your well-deserved degrees. You are the reason Pierce College exists my very best wishes to each of you and your loved ones. Stay well and know that we are here for you tonight and always. Congratulations. Hello, I am Dr. Shannon Begley, Dean of Academic Advising and Registrar, and I am pleased to introduce our keynote speaker for this evening, Marge Jackson. Marge Jackson is a senior executive with more than 20 years of experience in the telecommunications industry. She currently serves as senior vice president of sales enablement and multicultural symphony for Comcast. She has been recognized by numerous peers and colleagues as an industry leader and top woman minority in business. Marge is a Pierce College graduate and a graduate of WICT's prestigious Betsy Magnus Leadership Institute, the Comcast Women in Leadership Program at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, and the CTAM Executive Program 
at Harvard University. On behalf of the Pierce College Board of Trustees, Marge Jackson was awarded an honorary degree, a doctorate of humane letters, as our 155th keynote commencement speaker. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming Dr. Marge Jackson. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Pierce College. Congratulations to you, the class of 2020, on this incredible achievement. I was so looking forward to delivering this speech in person, but due to the unprecedented situation we are in, we have all found ourselves having to adjust to new and unexpected ways. Not walking across a stage today does not make this achievement any less impressive. In fact, reaching this achievement under these circumstances speaks to the perseverance in all of you that will serve you well throughout your lives. For me personally, there's something very meaningful about having this opportunity to speak to each of you in your homes today. When I met Dr. Mary Ellen Carroll last year, I was immediately impressed with her as a leader, as a fellow professional in the telecommunication industry, and as a trailblazer, being the first female president and CEO of this historic institution. So impressed. I quickly accepted it when she offered me the opportunity to deliver this year's commencement address. But given the current environment, the responsibility of this platform has magnified. Many of you have, like myself, been deeply affected by the events of recent weeks. We've seen what a long way we still have to go towards achieving freedom, equality, and justice for all. But change begins with individuals like you. I sat exactly where you are now. Before I got my degree from Pierce, I was a single mom, running my own small business so I could focus on my family. I had a small marketing company helping businesses get online in the early days of dot-com. I learned that broadband, how the internet worked, and knew Comcast was going to be the next big thing in cable modem technology. Somebody in my network helped me get a meeting with Comcast, and they offered me a job as the first broadband sales representative in the state of New Jersey. I said yes, thinking I'd do it for a year, help build my network, grow my client base, but I did it well, very well. And before long, I was being asked to lead my own team. I start looking around and sizing things up, I knew I could have an opportunity here, an opportunity to go all the way. But this was a new world. This was corporate America, and I didn't have a college degree. I found Pierce just like many of you probably did. I could have gone anywhere, but I needed to keep my job. I needed to support my family. I was afraid. I remember it perfectly. I was sitting on my bed, looking down at the materials from Pierce and wondering, how could I do it? Could I manage everything? Could I get my degree and still be a good mom? Could I continue to do my job and do it well? My 16-year-old daughter, Margie, walked in and sat down next to me, and she said something I will never forget. It's okay, mom. This is your time. I was stunned. I knew this was my opportunity to learn and grow. I wanted the credentials. I wanted to be official. But being a good mother had always come first. Margie reached out and gave me her support. She knew that because I put her first, I couldn't go to college. So she paid me back. She pushed me and she became my partner. I'm sure many of you had someone to support and push you to. Maybe it was a spouse, a parent, a child, or a friend. Someone who gave you the courage to pursue your dreams and goals and start on this path to education. Many of these people are listening right now, and I want to congratulate them on this achievement as well. 
because very few of us did this on our own. Let's be honest, it wasn't easy. Like many of you, I worked all week and went to classes on Friday nights and weekends. I lost sleep. And all the time I thought, this is my time. I'm going to grow my career and I'm going all the way. Pierce gave me the experience of what it felt like to go to school. But it also gave me the flexibility that I didn't have to stop working. As I continued to excel, I was given opportunities to take roles in other parts of the country. I worked in Baltimore, Washington, D.C., and Miami. And all the while, I was taking online classes, hustling, and coming home on the weekends to be a mom. My story is not new. Many of you are like me. You've worked hard as students, as professionals, and as parents. It took courage. You may have faced moments of doubt, moments of feeling inadequate because you didn't have it and didn't do it the normal way, but you did it your way. That's the opportunity that Pierce offered you and me. The years since I received my degree from Pierce have been a whirlwind of adventures that I have never imagined when I was sitting where you are now. I moved to over a dozen cities, led teams of hundreds. I've been promoted to a director, a vice president, and now a senior vice president. I've been lucky enough to be in rooms with the most senior executives in one of the most valuable, influential companies in the world. And I met my husband and became a mother again. My journey has exceeded all of my expectations. Your journey starts here today. You are headed from here into an incredible professional opportunities. Some of you may be living them already. Some of you may be continuing your education, and some of you may be going into public service. As you take these steps, know that this community is here to support you. And I have a few words of wisdom that I hope will help you along the way. Success at the next levels will take determination and resilience. You will get knocked down. You will have to get back up. You have to be willing to take risk, try new things, and put yourself out there. Know the value of your personal brand. You may not know it, but you already have one. The unique qualities that make you, you, and make you valuable to those around you. Define it, develop it, and share it. Practice your elevator pitch and build a social media presence. Google yourself often. Look for people to advocate for you, especially people who don't look like you. I've been grateful to have so many people advocate for me throughout my career. Women, men, white, black, colleagues, and senior executives alike. Those people saw something special in me, and they mentored me and invested in me. Find your own advocates and sponsors who will speak for you. Be ready to be uncomfortable. Be ready to be the only person in the room that looks like you. And have courage. Don't assume you have to have all the job requirements. And don't wait for the opportunities to find you. Build your skills if you need to. And raise your hand whenever you can. Finally, whatever success means to you in the long term, you must be a lifelong learner. Take advantage of any opportunities that you can continue broadening your education. Continue advancing. If you take this advice to heart, I promise you, you will have success that surprises and delights you every day. In return, I ask you one thing. When my daughter Margie gave me this opportunity to achieve my dreams, she paid me back for all of the years I spent helping her achieve hers. You have an opportunity now to pay it forward to everyone who helped you along the way and everyone who comes next. Some of you are first-generation graduates. 
And you are setting an example for your children and their children. And you have an opportunity to influence many other professionals who may be looking for an opportunity to advance their careers through education. Your stories are like mine. We need your help to tell these stories because we need more of us at the table. We need more leaders and professional who look like you and me. We need more people who have the courage to speak up and use their voices to make the world better. Class of 2020, this is your moment. Congratulations. Good evening. I am also delighted to introduce our student speaker. Ms. Robin Neary is graduating this evening with a Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership with a 3.9 GPA. She has been an excellent student, taking three courses per term, while also balancing a job in the retail industry. Please welcome Robin Neary. Welcome. Pierce graduates, faculty, staff, and guests. My name is Robin Neary, and I am pleased to be your graduation speaker this year. I am grateful to have spent the past two years here at Pierce. I enjoyed a successful career before returning to college, but an interesting thing happened when a discussion I had with my boss took an unexpected turn. We were discussing another colleague that I recommended for a promotion. My boss dismissed the candidate and said she was ineligible because she didn't have her bachelor's degree. Shocked, I responded, neither do I. My boss rushed over to her office door, slammed it, and said, don't ever tell anyone that again. We could both be fired if anyone finds out. At that moment, my sense of accomplishment crumbled, but my motivation to earn a degree became clear. Fast forward to 2018. I enrolled at Pierce College after attending a Graduate Philadelphia event. As I prepared to attend class, I discovered I had a math phobia. So with a pounding heart, I walked into my remedial math class on the first day expecting the worst. As most of you have likely experienced, all I needed was a transformational teacher to help me overcome my apprehensions. I will be forever grateful to my professor and the entire staff in the Walker Center for showing me that I can accomplish anything. After sweating it out, I earned an A. I can imagine many of you have similar stories. I am proud of my accomplishments and those of my fellow graduates. There are so many people to credit for helping us get here. The professors and staff at Pierce have gone out of their way in every aspect shown real care for us, and extended themselves to ensure that we have the resources we need to be successful. Thank you. To my partner, family, and friends who have provided spectacular support, thank you. To my colleagues, thank you. To the class of 2020, we have drawn upon our resiliency during our time at Pierce to balance life work, and our academics. This is especially true recently while we all worked and studied from home. As we set off on our collective next steps, I urge you to remember, we are all in this together. Although earning our degree holds a different meaning for each of us, we found a way to graduate during a global pandemic. Regardless of any of life's challenges, I know we have the grit to achieve anything we want because we persevered. Congratulations to the Pierce College graduating class of 2020. I have the honor this evening of announcing the 2020 Hamilton Award recipient. Each year, the college takes the opportunity to recognize a faculty member or academic administrator who exemplifies academic excellence and integrity. As a member of the Pierce College community for over 15 years, our 2020 Hamilton Award recipient has garnered the respect of students, faculty, and staff as an outstanding and dedicated leader and innovative administrator. I am honored and very happy to announce our 2020 Hamilton Award recipient, Dr. Shannon Beckley.
Good evening. I am Tracy Thomas, Assistant Dean of Student Support Services, and I am pleased to present the following awards for students' academic achievements and leadership. The Raymond L. Palzer Alumni Association Academic Leadership Award is presented to Kara Betzenberger, Laura Elam, and Ashley Tolliver. Congratulations. The Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award is presented to Solina Fall. Congratulations. The Mary W. Walker 33 Center for Academic Excellence Award is presented to Francis Johnson. Congratulations. The Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs Student Leadership Award is presented to Jenna Edeline. Congratulations. The Margaret Obosian Excellence in Writing Award is presented to Omira Villanueva. Congratulations. The Patricia A. Rucker's Graduate Student Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Marvin Nichols, Jr. Congratulations. We will now begin the roll call of candidates. I am pleased to report that many students in the class of 2020 have earned academic honors through their hard work and dedication. Academic honors will be read with the candidates' names. Our faculty chairs will conduct the roll call, starting with our graduate studies programs, followed by our undergraduate programs. I am Dr. Adrian Zapala, Professor and Dean of Graduate Studies. I am pleased to call the role of our Master of Science in Healthcare Administration and our Master of Science in Organizational Leadership and Management candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Master of Science degree. The Master of Science candidates for Healthcare Administration are Olivia Bannister, Katrina Monique Bennett, Kellyanne Campbell, Tamara Jacqueline Hawkins, Joy K. Lavender, Nellie M. Manier. Shakira Maya, Linda Lotrice Mathis, Marvin C. Nichols, Tanisha Oates, Monica Rollerson, Ernest D. Whitaker. The Master of Science candidates for Organizational Leadership and Management are Rashid Neem Bailey, Andrea R. Brown, Cherie M. Christian, Gloria DeSena, Selena Haynes Jordan, Shonda Annette Hill, Kelsey Lazicki, Tara McBride, Shanique A. Miller, Kimberly Ann Mosley, Gretchen Persing. Brett A. Royer, Marquia S. Wilkinson, Letitia D. Wright. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dr. Kathy Littlefield, Professor and Faculty Chair of Business. I am proud to conduct the roll call of our Accounting, Business Administration, Human Resource Management, Integrated Leadership, Organizational Leadership, and Customer Service candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. 
These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science, Associate in Science degree, or Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for accounting are Linda Bui, cum laude. Kina Carroll. Kara Downs. Ruth Green Smith. Olga Kolznik. Jennifer L. Kumaro. Selena Fowl, summa cum laude. Mara D. Pierce. Bayless Presley, cum laude. Rashida Nashia Tolliver. Yemma A. Tucker. Omeria Villa Nueve, summa cum laude. Yvonne Vink, magna cum laude. Kim D. Wiggins. The Bachelor of Science candidates for business administration are Jesse Alexander, cum laude. Samantha L. Bartles. Annette Michelle Bellinger. Christopher Bonecourse, magna cum laude. Shakia I. Bostic. Esther Daniel. Jenna M. Edeline, cum laude. Laura E. Elam Nurse. Lisa Marie Finnerty. Andrew Hubert. Sabrina Natiana Himeldo, magna cum laude. Tamika M. Holman, cum laude. Celicia M. Irby, cum laude. Erica A. Johnson. Edda Ada Kennedy. Godwin Amatasola Agdabi. Aja Shanik Parks. Justin Michael Pellerin, magna cum laude. Tamika Nicole Pointer. Gia Marie Powell. Bayless Presley, cum laude. Namia Kadimi, cum laude. Iris Santa. Ashrif Siem. Joshua Slocum. Latasha Smith. Dequan Tanksley. Andrew Tong. Stafford L. Urquhart, magna cum laude. Kia Wallace. Erkazan Yuspanova Zankbarova. Tari J. Wright, cum laude. The Associate in Science candidates for Business Administration are Marik J. Allen, summa cum laude. Robin S. Archer. Felicia N. Boone. Michelle Carter Goldsmith, magna cum laude. Kathy Chesson. Tammy R. Cox, summa cum laude. Marisol Cuevas. Deneen Nicole Dugan. Deanne Drayton. Jennifer R. Guisto. Michelle Alicia Hall. 
Joseph Hicks. Imani Marie Hogg. Kiana M. House. Michelle Morgan. Michelle Perez. Bianca Smith. Shadiqua Smith Span. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Human Resource Management are Frederick A. Miles III, Natasha Elizabeth Moore, Charmaine Meacham. The candidate for Certificate of Proficiency for Human Resource Management is Akisha M. Gonzalez. The Bachelor of Science candidates for organizational leadership or integrated leadership are Ayana Amira Abdullah, Elsa T. Adams, Catherine Aislin, cum laude, Michelle D. Booker, Rebecca A. Carpenter, cum laude. Saravuthia Chow. Kendrick Davis. Truvel Demi Diaz, magna cum laude. Shante Terrell Figures. Corey C. Hinson. Francis R. Johnson. Robin Johnson. Michelle Jeanette Keenan. Stephanie G. Nepper, magna cum laude. Janice L. Coot, summa cum laude. Robin E. Neary, magna cum laude. Timothy E. Opus. Tammy D. Pollins. Frank G. Rivers III. Tane Robinson, magna cum laude. John T. Sable. Amber N. Therma. Deshana Monique Whitney. The candidates for Certificate of Proficiency for Customer Service are Angie Aponte, Rhoda Douglas, Paul Funks, Helene R. Gemlick, Satira G. Harris. Deja Johnson. Santino McElwain. Thalia Rosario. Camira Sloan. Sayana B. Stiegel. Annie Suba. Jason Zeng. Thank you. Hello, I am Stephanie Donovan, faculty chair and professor health programs. I'm pleased this evening to call the role of healthcare administration, health information administration, health information technology, and medical coding certificate candidates for graduation. President Carroll, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for healthcare administration are Tracy Ashton, J. 
Jasmine Baldwin Sr. Crystal Black. Nikel Blaylock, cum laude. Jessica M. Brown. Tonita D. Brown. Aaliyah T. Burrows, summa cum laude. Linda M. Butler. Joseph Carozo, cum laude. Mir Day Chan, magna cum laude. Alina Chanel Fillmore. Tamara Armanda Flake, summa cum laude. Sybil M. Fullard, cum laude. Leah Shamir Gill, cum laude. Arcella Jelly. Sierra Alexis Hall. Chris LaShawn Harris. Andrew William Hills, cum laude. Florence E. Holland. Shanae McBee. Gervins Mercredi, cum laude. Will Dane Mondesir. Marcia Lorraine Pemberton. Fatima A. Reed Wright. Patricia L. Renzi. Darren Richardson. Kelly S. Rieger. Jenea Robinson. Francesca Santiago, magna cum laude. Annie Suba. Jeffy Thomas. Kisa S. Thorpe, cum laude. Mary L. Torres, cum laude. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Health Information Administration are Cheryl Carter, cum laude. Jack Malay Hernandez, magna cum laude. Conchetta Lyons, magna cum laude. Michael Murphy, summa cum laude. Tam Van Tran, cum laude. The Associate in Science candidates for Health Information Technology are Melanie Janine Brown, Robin Yvette Bruce, Karen Loretta Calhoun, Kalia Shanae Chisholm, Shaki Gooding, Cherie Grant, summa cum laude. Courtney Hollingsworth, summa cum laude. Kia Jones Albright. Robert Lewis. Kayla Logan. Diane Russo. Dior A. Scott. Jamila Sadia Scurry. Jocelyn Chosen, magna cum laude. Tonya D. Sleepian. Tina Tran Lee. Jennifer M. White Keen. The candidates for the Certificate of Proficiency for Medical Coding are Stephanie Sierra Broadnex, Sharakata T. Brown, cum laude, Cassandra Clark Mack, 
Lisa M. Daniels, Teresa Fox, Andrea Hansbury, Larissa Humphreys, Iona M. Livingston, Annette Melvin, Jean T. Thompson. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dr. Brian Finnegan, Dean of Information Technology and General Education. I'm pleased this evening to call the role of information technology, technology management, and cybersecurity candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of degree candidates. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science, Associate in Science degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency. And the Bachelor of Science candidates for information technology are Kasim Akers, Antoine Barron, summa cum laude. Kamel Ben Ali. Brian Matthew Brennan, magna cum laude. Chan Chin. Saina Chin. Kevin Dang. Stephen Danner. Jad Driggers, cum laude. Raymond Charles Footman, magna cum laude. Wallace Frist, magna cum laude. Caitlin Gardner, cum laude. Nicholas Hauer, cum laude. Joseph R. Hooper, magna cum laude. Shadia T. Ivey. Christian Latanzio. Joseph Walter McCausland, cum laude. Randolph A. McCrary. Contrell Morris. Robertson Vasco Osman. Maurice Pritchett. Trevor Scott. Ashley A. Tolliver. And the Associate in Science candidates for information technology are Chanel Austin, cum laude. Yvonne Margarita Burton. Keith J. Higgins. Maureen Mellet, cum laude. Tommy Montez Rodney. Brittany Jillian Smith. And the Bachelor of Science candidates for technology management are Michelle Arnilo Schiffens. Dotrin Tyrese Awkward, magna cum laude. Ralph P. Siliquini. The candidate for Certificate of Proficiency for Cybersecurity is Corinne Price Howard. I will now call the role of Liberal Studies and General Studies candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of degree candidates. Those gathered have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts or Associate in Arts degree. And the Bachelor of Arts candidates for Liberal Studies are Priscilla Maxwell, cum laude. Amanda Tesmer. And the Associate in Arts candidates for General Studies are Michael T. Baldwin. Diamond Brown. Denise E. Edeline. Brad Ferguson. 
Shintara Gresham. Carice Outlaw Lee. Dustin Walders, cum laude. Roland D. Williams. Thank you. Good evening. I am Michael Agnello, faculty chair and associate professor in legal studies. I'm delighted to call the role of paralegal studies and legal studies in business candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of degree candidates. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or the Post-Bachelor Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for paralegal studies are Angie Aponte, Kara Betzenberger, Suma Kamlaud, Christina M. Brown Kamlaud, Vonroth Chan Kamlaud, Janine Doria Doolin, Jeannie C. Phils, Janine M. Foos. Dara Michelle Foy. Lawrence K. Gay. Helene R. Demelch. Rashida J. Hastings. Christopher Hinckley. Brianna N. Hoffman, magna cum laude. Paige B. Hughes. Kayla E. Johnson. Morn Lee. Malika Diana McMillan. Aaron Rader. Benjamin Ramos. Daniel T. Rank, summa cum laude. Nicole Michelle Rivera, summa cum laude. Shatara N. Shinholster. Wydea Denise Smalls. Perry H. Wagner. Maisha Q. Williams, cum laude. The associate in science candidates for paralegal studies are Colleen Breslin, Glenda I. Candelaria, Tabitha Mendez, Janine D. Stiff. The post bachelor certificate of proficiency candidates for paralegal studies are Serena M. Conway, Yuza Henderson, Britlia Keith, Linda Kubaki Gillis, Patrick Michael Tran. The Bachelor of Science candidate for legal studies and business is Patrick. Michael Tran. I will now call the role of criminal justice studies candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of degree candidates. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science or the Associate in Science degree. The Bachelor of Science candidates for criminal justice studies are Danielle E. Banks, cum laude. Lamar Birch. Rhoda Douglas, cum laude. Devante Douglas. Shannon Drummond. 
China T. Ellerby, Edwina N. Ferguson, Elena Marie Galga, Luis Angel Lopez, Christian Martinka, Dakota Ann Monroe, Tanisha L. Moreno, from Loudoun. Tracy C. Nichols. Ashley Rosario. Talia L. Rosario. Tiara Sanford. Jakea I. Spady Taylor. Roland Wilson. Come out. Tamika Darcel Young. James Robert Zugi Suma Come out. The Associate in Science candidates for Criminal Justice Studies are Sabrina N. Brady, Alice Butler Evans, Nikita Jamila. Kayona, Rebecca Delva, Kenya Amina Dixon Magna Laude, Brittany Fulton, John J. Lynch, Crystal Janet Malav, India J. Riley. Tiara Sanford, Elwood Talbot Cum Laude, Markera Times, Carmen M. White. Thank you. As president of Pierce College, I have the honor this evening of conferring degrees on our graduates. Candidates, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Pierce College, I officially recognize and confer the Master of Science degree, Bachelor of Science degree, Bachelor of Arts degree, Associate in Science degree, Associate in Arts degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency on you as graduates of Pierce College, class of 2020. In recognition of that, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Good evening, I am Noel Abejo, President of the Alumni Association. I am pleased to officially welcome you to the Pierce College Alumni Association. As president of the association, I ask you to stay in touch with the college, and I pledge that we will work to help you keep close ties to each other individually and to the Pierce alumni community as a whole. We encourage our associate graduates to continue towards your bachelor's degree and our bachelor's graduates to apply for our master's degree programs, joining the many double and triple graduates of Pierce College. It is indeed an honor to induct each of you as members in good standing in the Pierce College Alumni Association. Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. On behalf of Dr. Marge Jackson, the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration of Pierce College, I extend congratulations to the class of 2020. These ceremonies have now officially ended. Thank you and good evening.